Station run, so you will discover the changes. Mm, in Shanti meditation, we consciously move into the state of mindfulness and then we contemplate in order to bring about a change. But in Kundalini meditation, you awaken to that change. But it does not mean that you are awakened to the change, it will come on your own. You remain awakened to it. Say for example, you... Uh, no, no, nobody, but example. I know nobody uh, in the class do like this, but this is an example. Uh, even then when you said, I'm not telling anything new. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> So what happens, you know, the irritation, say for example, you are agitated by a person again and again, and you are doing this meditation, the time comes, your mind reverses, changes, it simply stops, it moves into silence, it is not agitated. And when you are doing it regularly, the time comes, how you say, what's a, what's a, irritation, what's an hesitation, let me not do it. And you may not notice at the time, but ultimately what happens is you continue the practices, the changes becomes permanent. And then the other guy says, oh, I see you are changing. Oh, I saw a lot of changes in you. So second thing, why I open this uh, topic that I have a, a client in the Princeton, the couple are returning and we are, I'm working on, I come in between, you know, I become a bone of, what do you say? What is the phrase? A bone when, of contention. Bone of contention between the couple, you know. I know ultimately they will remain as a couple, you know. Mm -hmm. I have to leave both of them one day. <laughs> so, so I'm <laughs> very much aware. <laughs> Isn't it great? You're lucky, you're a bachelor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't want to marry? Eventually. He wants. <laughs> so you want to be in a problem? <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, and I saw after, this is, the uh, last time it was the ninth session, and the wife said she was very humble and she was loving. In the first session she was quite irritated, in the ninth session she picked up very fast. And she, she said, honey, you said, you don't listen to Acharya this time, listen to me. I have understood what he is saying. Why you get irritated even if I make a positive statement? Well, if you ask me, then I will stop making that statement. Then we will, we will go far from each other. And I picked up from there, I said, this is what one has to take an initiative. When you experience the change and if you take the initiative, then the changes becomes permanent. So don't worry, Craig, I'm making you perfect, so you will not have any problem. <laughs> uh, Socrates, you know? Socrates, a great philosopher oh, and a spiritual Socrates. He had a, he had a very cruel wife. The moment he used to return to his home, and the wife used to throw anything that he, she had in her hand. And many a times even, her, even his disciples used to get hurt. So after ten years, you know, one of his disciples who was with Socrates for ten years, he said, he is my master, let me ask him whether I should marry or not. <laughs> then we will start. So, <laughs> The disciple uh, went to the Socrates and asked him, Oh, should I marry? Oh, yes. Come on, get married immediately. 
And the disciples said, I have been with you for ten years. There was not a single day when your wife did not hurt you. And even I got hurt. And you said sorry to me. But still you are insisting on, on, oh, let me get married. I, he said yes. And then Socrates told uh, his disciple that, well, if you have a beautiful and a good wife, you are already awakened through the meditation, through the journey of the spirituality. So what will happen if you have a good and a humble wife? Both of the worlds will be fine with you. But if... But if you will get the wife like me, no problem, the world will get another Socrates. <laughs> yeah. So lie down, let us start with our prayer. What, Prasala, what are you thinking? Me? Yeah. <laughs> thinking I'd... I'd rather be happy than famous. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful masses. <laughs> so these masters always give you the right masses. <laughs> In spite of the even, the condition outside is not favorable. So let us start, eyes are closed, you are comfortable, and I could see you all are... Uh, ready for meditation, you're comfortable, put both your hands on the chest and look deep inside the rib case. And I told you, we are into the second stage. Start breathing long and the fast breathing into the chest. Long and the fast breathing into the chest, looking deep inside now, Prasala, you can start giving the first stage, but the, with careful, be careful in giving the practice to your students and see the difference. The other that you have learned in this one. Continue long and the fast breath into the rib cage. But keep looking deep inside the ribs. Keep looking deep inside the ribs in the space. Continue. Continue, please. Continue. Long and fast breathing into the ribs, the first three steps. Our goal is to release the energy, strip the energy from the unconscious and the subconscious mind. Why? Energy also is released, free. The mind also becomes free. It becomes easy to move into deeper state of meditation. That's wonderful. Continue, please. We are not stopping today. You all come prepared, so why not go a little deeper? That also gives me a checkpoint to move into the stage three. And stop it. Bring your hands down. Do not think. Just start looking at the breath. No change in the rate, in the rhythm of the breath. And start counting the breath when the breath goes in. Counting one when it comes out, out one. Make sure, maintain your awareness on the breath that it does not change. In the stage one, we were doing the niyas, where you say here we are scanning the body and becoming aware of the sensation and the stillness. But now we are going little deeper. We bypass the body. We go deeper. 
we are counting the breath as a passive state. Understand it clearly. If you do the practice the same way, don't change. And that's how I'm bringing uh, the different stages. And you're simply counting the breath from the active state we migrate to passive state of engaging the mind to live within. You know why? Maybe you can later think of why in an answer in the stage three. You'll understand the entire Kuntalini philosophy and meditation. Now, do nothing, even stop the counting. Just do nothing, you are in the state of mindfulness. People talk a lot about it. They say it is an effortless process, but they continue to make an effort and we are here, we are not doing anything. When you are not doing anything, I'm sitting here in this room doing nothing, doesn't mean I'm not aware of the room, the color, the space, you guys, outside noise. That is what happens in the mindfulness. And the more deeper, more deep we go into the mindfulness, the success in the Kundalini meditation becomes a play. That is what the stage two is. Now look inside the belly button, put both your hands on the belly on each side and start breathing long and the fast breath into the belly, the total expansion of the belly and total contraction. Long and the fast breath into the belly, total focus is there, yes, the mind will react to the fatigue and the tiredness in the muscles of the belly and you should know that we don't move the belly which is not supported by the bone. And hence, it becomes easily fatigue and tired if you're not going to the gym. And continue, long and the fast breath, especially the second level of the energy is locked here. We want to release that. I'll talk about the lowest level, the middle level, and the higher level of the energy. Until we move into the sink of all the three layers, then only comes the Kundalini awakening. And leave, just bring the hands down, no movement at all in that state of the sensation in the stillness. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. You begin counting the breath. Breath goes in, you feel the sensation in one, out one. When you feel the sensation, as if you have left the outer world, just experience that state that you you may experience, you have left the outer world, your main concern is to look at the breath, moving breath and counting the breath. You seem to be oblivious of the external world. You may experience as if you are alone now. Oh, that's a good experience. From the very beginning in the second step, you are there. Just giving you those flashes of experience 
now in the stage two of level one of Kundalini meditation. Now, doing nothing, yes, again moving into the state of mindfulness. What happens? You awaken to the fact that the body can be maintained in the state of sensation and stillness, in a deeper state of relaxation, you are awakened that if the mind withdraws within, the fatigue of the body disappears. Look at it. Consciously know it and experience. It is a wonderful state. Now we are going into the third step with your right hand on the belly, the left hand on the chest. Why am I asking you again to raise your hand, move the body? You, you may not like to move it, but we want to see that even if we move the body, we can maintain the same state. Looking inside the forehead in the space, start breathing long and the fast breath both into the belly and the chest. First you inhale into the belly, continues to inhale into the chest, exhale out of the belly and the chest. It's a long, continuous breath. <coughs> It needs little more practice. The next week we'll work on this consciously. Long, fast breath, both into the belly and the chest, looking deep inside the forehead. Continue. Continue. And stop it. Bring the hands down, bringing lock the tip of the index finger with the thumb about the hands, bring the tip of the tongue deep inside the lower middle teeth, lips together, look at the breath and start counting the breath again. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. And you see how easy it becomes a play for you. My friends, always repeat the first three steps again and again, daily. And the last step of this meditation practice to progress into this meditation. You can even do the middle steps, but it is good to do at least the four step, the first three steps, the last one. You are counting the breath.
I instruct the counting, remain as you are in the state of mindfulness. You see, even if you do practice the first three steps, every step has three points, three stages, the active one, the passive one, and the mindfulness. You may repeat the first three steps maybe two or three times. I want to tell you that you induce a very deep state of calmness and peace within you. So instead of you make it to keep a target when you're doing it at your home, you count up to one to fifty. And at the active step you may do hundred breaths. Passive, 50 breath, and after that, you see the state of mindfulness. Now, we move into the next three steps. Inhale deeply into the belly and the chest to hold the breath. Look inside the forehead and start. Huh. Look inside the forehead and start. Long. Aim. Aim. Chanting is long with a natural pause, not the quick and the fast. We have left that in the stage one. You have to discover the quality versus the quantity. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. The passive and the mindfulness both go together in the fourth, fifth, and the sixth step. The aim is a very long, loud, you hear into your mind, that makes the difference and you will see the energy pattern begins changing. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest and start hammering, holding the breath, aim, 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 aim. Aim. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. In the stage one, we were doing it passionately. But here, now we have started doing with a little assertiveness. The mantra is the same. The qualitatively, the practice is different. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest to hold the breath. Focus inside the forehead in the space and start hammering. Aim, 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 aim. Continue. Continue, my friends. Continue. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Just you're watching the breath and in the background you also become aware of the state of the body which is still, but it may undergo other experiences too. You may see some vision and a color inside the forehead, be with it. Don't. Chase them, let them come and go.
Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest to hold the breath inside, look deep inside the forehead and start hammering the mantra Aim, Aim, but it is long hammer. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. We are progressing, I think, you know, you all are moving ahead. When we move into the stage three, it will, you will experience totally a different state. The mind that was Understanding the practices are challenging becomes natural, easy, play, and a fun. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest to hold the breath. Look inside the forehead and start hammering. Long aim, aim. Continue, please. And release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Now we pick up the second mantra, Hreem, inside the heart. And when we do it inside the heart, we only inhale into the chest. Let us start. Inhale deeply into the chest. Expand it. Look deep inside the chest into the space. And the mantra is Hreem, 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 Hreem. And release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. When we begin the practice in the stage when the mind feels as if we are challenging, we are, where we are going, we don't know. But now, as you continue the practices, you experience I also experience and observe that the body remains still, everyone, as if lying down, totally still, experiencing the deeper state of relaxation. That is the, another very important aspect. Inhale deeply again into the chest, hold the breath inside, hammer, hream, 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 hream. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. We simply drop all the efforts from the state of activity. We move into the state of passivity. Do you do anything in deep sleep? No. 
but you are fully aware, conscious, and still you do nothing. Inhale deeply again into the chest, hold the breath and start hammering. Hream, 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 hream. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. You just move into that state of mindfulness. You may experience as if you are awakened that the body and the breath are very far from you. Is it not a natural detachment? When you detach yourself by thinking, it returns with a greater force. You experience that yet still you are not detached. Inhale deeply into the chest and hold the breath. Hream, hream. Cream looking inside the chest into the space or the heart in the space. Continue, please. And release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Remember, I talked about it, that it is not how long you retain the breath inside, but with what quality you practice the step, you hammer, dream, that makes the difference. Inhale deeply again into the chest and hold the breath. Look inside the heart. Start hammering. Hream, hream, hream. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Last time, inhale deeply into the chest and hold the breath. Looking inside the heart, continue hammering. Hream, 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 hream. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. In the, state, in the level two, we use different locks of which you are aware. And we use only two or three mantras associated with the chakra. But with these three mantras, we want to awaken we have a conscious approach. And now we will pick up the third center. Inhale deeply into the belly. 
Look deep inside the belly, holding the breath. Clean, clean, clean. The mantra is clean. You may experience as if the belly is going up without any movement of the lower spine. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. You should accept the chances that is coming. Maintain that awareness. Inhale deeply into the belly, hold the breath. Start hammering, clean, 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 clean. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. We just watch, we experience, we know. The breath is moving naturally in that state of the stillness in the body and we also experience as if we are we have gone far from the body and the breath. What a beautiful state. Inhale deeply into the belly, hold the breath, look inside the belly button in, and the mantra is clean, clean. It's a very assertive, long. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Inhale deeply again into the belly, hold the breath in sight, and hammer with the mantra, clean, clean, clean. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. You know, there are moments of forgetfulness, that is the uh, subjective state of the mind, so we need not to worry. You hear me and you return again. Sometime you may fall into unconscious sleep, it is okay. Sometimes we may experience a very shooting experience in any part of the body that has to do with unconscious mind. And that is, I will deal in detail with the stage three. I inhale deeply again into the belly, hold the breath inside, clean, 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 clean. Clean. Tingling numbness in the body. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal.
No, the last time. Inhale deeply into the belly. Hold the breath. Look inside the belly. Clean, clean, clean. Continue. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Now we have to sing in our mind. The aim going down from inside the forehead to the belly button, clean, rising up. And that is our conscious approach. Inhale deeply both into the belly and the chest to hold the breath inside, move the mind with a singing of aim, clean, as if you are totally absorbed into the singing, but with an awareness of the two centers inside the forehead and the belly button. Gleam rises up, aim drops down, release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Inhale deeply into the belly and the chest. Hold the breath inside and start singing in clean, in clean, while retaining the breath inside. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest and start singing. I'm clean, I'm clean, but moving the mind between the two centers up and down. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Experience, know the amusing, or I would say amazing state of the stillness, the sensation, the tingling. But beside that, you also experience that you have, you have become a part of the infinite space. When you are part of that, there is an abundance of energy. You are moving gradually into the next stage. Yes, inhale deeply into the belly and the chest. Hold the breath, move the mind with the singing. I'm clean. I'm we we bypass, we transcend, and we are asking the body and the breath not to do anything. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal.
You see, we, we are not making any effort to maintain that stillness. Now the breath also follows us. It knows we are retaining, so the mind begins going deeper, working on this power, the force. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest, hold the breath inside, start singing aim clean. Aim clean, aim clean, aim clean, aim release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. The last time now, inhale deeply into the belly and the chest, hold the breath, singing aim, clean, aim, clean, aim, clean. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. We're moving into the eighth step now. The singing only is aim down, aim up. Moving between the two centers, the center of the wisdom inside the forehead and the belly button, the center of the inertia, the will. We'll understand it deeply as we awaken more and more to this center. Inhale deeply into the belly and the chest, retain the breath. Singing between the two centers, the mantra is only aim, aim, going up, aim, coming down, aim, 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 aim. The more you are in a singing tone, you will experience the mind begins dropping deeper. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Conscious awareness, so as if you have done nothing. So every active step, you are doing something in the moment you release, your mind even forgets as if you have done something just before that. When you move into that state, inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest to hold the breath. Aim, aim. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Remember, you are singing as if you are calling. The honey that is sitting deep inside.
Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest. Retain the breath and start. Aim. 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 Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. We are spending almost 60 minutes into the meditation practice and that is another factor that's, uh, that's moving, that helps us to progress. Inhale deeply again into the belly and the chest, hold the breath, continue singing. Aim. Aim, aim. Release the breath, allow the breath to be normal. Now I leave the practice on you in the last step. In that state of the stillness and the calmness, awareness of the breath, look at the breath that is going in and out. The moment the breath goes in, you move the mind from the Center of the forehead to the belly button. The breath comes out, you move the mind from the belly button to the inside the center of the chest. Center of the forehead, not the chest. You have to Allow the conscious mind to align with the speed and the movement of the breath, not the other way around. If the mind regulates the breath, oh, the mind will bring in all the unconscious movement, all the memories, and that's where, that's what we don't want. Now, you have a choice when the mind and the breath goes in, aim, drops down and claim goes up, or aim, aim, or claim, aim, or claim, claim, whatever. Your mind likes, here I'm coming to, your free, whatever you like, your mind likes, you follow, aim, 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 clean, 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 aim. And also watch. Maintain your awareness that the mind continues to change. It doesn't, it does not pick up the single movement and gradually falls prey to the thoughts, feelings, goes into imagination, return it. Try to gain.
doing nothing. Remain as you are. And maintain your awareness. If the mantra is happening deeper inside on its own, what a beautiful state that would be. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 We are not in a hurry at all. Bring your mind on the right hand and release the fingers. Bring your mind on the left hand and release the fingers. You may lift your both the palms and put it on your eyes. If you like, if you feel you can lift and if not, it's okay and bring Become aware of the experiences you have. Bring the hands down. You may set up now to share your experiences. <laughs> Very good. Yes, I could see that. Very good. Yes, sinking in. Sinking in. <laughs> How are you, Priscilla? It was very deep. Very deep, yes. I went away a few times. I didn't hear your voice anymore, but I don't know what that was about. But then I came back. It was good. It was, good. It was different. Different and good. How are you, Craig? Good, good. So the uh, colors and sensations with the first three exercises. That's good. That's good. Yes, we can move gradually into the stage three. How are you, Elizabeth? Okay, I'm having a hard time. You? Yeah. Cause itching? Yeah. Ah, itching. <laughs> But but again, you moved into oh, yeah. yeah calmness. I Good. I've been here for a while too. Anyway, and 
No, it will go away. I think it will help you a great deal in managing your other issues. How are you, Anne? Fine. I'm calm. Calm. Yeah, but I fell asleep a couple of times. Ah, yes, yes, <laughs> we, we know. This is the real soul made, Craig. You have to make a choice. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is, you have a total freedom, sir. So.